so the human genome is um, basically it's like a book. Um, it's a three billion letters that encodes everything that makes a human human. So it's the material that we pass on to our children that makes um, them look like us and, and act like us. It's what makes our heart, what makes our uh, brains, our blood, all parts of it. It's basically the blueprint um, that defines uh, what we become. So my research is into understanding how these genomes, um, this information, this genetic information that passes on generation to generation, changes over time, changes over generations. And so um, in my research, I, I essentially want to understand how we evolve to protect ourselves from deadly diseases like malaria and Lassa fever, and how those diseases evolve to continue to infect us um, and to be you know, to, uh, as deadly as they are, and try to use that information um, to help develop better interventions and understand how these changes are happening. And so that's where you know, I come in. There's, there's different people developing drugs and therapeutics. We try to inform that by ex explaining how the body has changed. We use the information, essentially evolution over thousands of years, has really run an experiment for us, and we use that information to understand how we can, uh, we can use those in our interventions. Sure, so in Nigeria, I work on a project on Lassa fever. It's a hemorrhagic fever, like Ebola um, and dengue. It's, it's very deadly. And we have a, we believe that um, humans have evolved resistance to it and that we can detect, we can find out what genes protect people from Lhasa. And so we set up a research site in um, Arua, which is a place where there's a lot of Lhasa fever and yearly outbreaks. And we've been essentially treating patients and collecting samples to do research. And we're going there to visit the site to get some clinical records um, uh, around our patients and try to understand this disease.